Donald Trump has called climate change a hoax. It'll get cooler, it'll get warmer, it's called weather. Now that he's president-elect, here's what's at stake for the future of the environment. The Paris Agreement, which was negotiated last year and came into effect just a few weeks ago, was a monumental step for addressing climate change and setting a path forward for the coming decades to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Donald Trump has promised to cancel the Paris Agreement or at the very least renegotiate it. Stop all payments of the United States tax dollars to UN global warming programs. He does not have the authority to, to cancel it. It's an agreement with more than 190 countries. He also doesn't have the power to withdraw from it immediately at least. It would take at least three years to go through those processes. He does have the power to ignore it. It's unlikely that other countries will feel comfortable making big reductions in their greenhouse gas emissions if the United States is not taking the lead. But another policy at stake is Obama's clean power plan. The single most important step America has ever taken in the fight against global climate change. Trump has said that he would cancel it. Environmental protection, what they do is a disgrace. Every week they come out with new regulations. He has the authority to do that. He could direct the EPA to eliminate the Clean Power Plan. We'll be fine with the environment. We can leave a little bit, but you can't destroy businesses. He will definitely, if he does that, face litigation from environmental groups that will argue that it's the EPA's role to do that. It's a long, winding process and certainly not something that he's going to be able to accomplish in his first 100 days. Environmentalists are, are trying to remain optimistic and looking at a lot of the market trends that have resulted in uh, the reduction in coal power uh, and other greenhouse gas emissions. A lot of it is outside of the realm of regulation. They're also trying to stay optimistic about the Paris Agreement. Some of them say even if Donald Trump withdraws, they're confident that other countries will step up to the plate. I'm 16 years old from Mwanza, Tanzania. Looking forward, there's a lot of things Donald Trump can do to slow progress on climate change, but many of the trends he doesn't have control over. So there is reason for optimism if you're looking in the long term.